Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I would like to show you something that I've been working on today, which is gateway monitoring on Datacake. And yes, we had gateway monitoring in the past where you could add your um, LoRaWAN gateways to the platform. We were pulling them from the API and sending you a notification. We do something similar right now. And I've just uh, used a standard API device and hooked this up via our KGRED and a webhook integration from um, the ThingStack. Um, the following tutorial I'm showing you is also, um, things are also possible for other LoRaWAN network servers. So basically we are listening to the traffic on um, LoRaWAN network server applications and then extracting the gateway information and then routing them onto these devices in here. And on when we click on one of those devices, we can see a basic dashboard like number of messages, uh, message per hour, message in the last 24 hours in total, the average RSSI maximum minimum, also for the signal to noise ratio, last time a message was received in UTC, um, and the delta between two messages, as well as some historical statistics. Um, we also parse the position information, means that we can also use this as um, the device location and see all the gateways here, on the map um, and then for example if we click on one of those we can of course see the sidebar dashboard as with all normal um, data cake devices if we for example now want to add a new device we could add this or a new gateway we could add this by add device then api next existing product there is gateway monitoring next simply paste the um, gateway ui next yes free plan for this device and then we have um, the device added to Datacake. And now we need to wait for new data to arrive um, over the webhook. Meanwhile, we are waiting for data. I'm going to show you something else because the old um, gateway monitoring integration on Datacake had the feature to send a notification if a device has gone offline, if there's something like a problem with your gateway. And we can also do this by using our new rule engine. So in here, we're going to add a new rule. And because all of the gateways are tied to the same product, the first thing that we need to do is select the product, which in here is gateway monitoring. And then we are going to execute the rule for all devices in the product. So for all gateways that are on the workspace. Um, triggers are new measurement. For example, we can compare something like um, the throughput of messages, um, add condition, measurement field like message counter, and then um, not the current uh, time range operation, but like um, the absolute change, the sum or the count. Count is something that, for example, 24 hours ago up until now, uh, let's say within um, one hour ago up until now, and the count always needs to be larger than constant number value 50. You can also use a measurement field or configuration field, but then the throughput needs to be at least 50 per hour add condition, and then send out a notification via email, for example. What you also can do, um, maybe we just simply add this. I just quickly added this uh, as the throughput notification, and I'm now going to create an online offline notification as well. We simply deactivate new measurement, and then activate device goes offline, goes online, we don't need to define a condition here. And then, I'm sorry, forgot to select the product, of course, and then execute action, email action, next, um, device, blah, 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 has gone offline, online, for example. We can fine tune it for separate online and offline messages, but it's just to show you um, how easy it is to set up online offline notifications for gateways on data cake. We add this here as well, of course, an email and then save. And now we created two um, notifications for when the throughput falls um, below a th threshold on the gateway it means that there's maybe like some issues with sensors, but also the online on and offline notification. Let's go back into the list of devices. Uh, still no data received yet for that new gateway. Um, but once more, let me show you if you go on a map, what you can also see in here is that we have the device signal or the number of um, messages sent. And um, yeah, in here you can also see the, the average signal quality of a gateway. This here looks pretty good. 
and the other ones like yeah um, you can see them directly in here meanwhile we can also see that our latest added gateway has received some data and we can also see it on the map uh, it's somewhere placed here in Germany and yeah yes this is it uh, this is how you can add gateways to data cake and use the um, existing data cake features like rule engine um, products and notifications to monitor your gateways if you're interested in uh, trying this out just uh, feel free to contact us and we are helping you onboarding your gateways to data cake and also for a special plan um, what we are trying to do is bringing back the gateway uh, monitoring as a native feature on the sidebar and as i've mentioned before this does not work uh, only for the thing stack it works for everything that has yeah like a lower than network server structure like for all the lns available around the world which is i think like more than 15 which is impressive and yeah try it out on data cake let us know what you think thanks for watching and stay tuned